All right, so this is a calorimetry type problem. And so we've got this lead shot heated to 90 degrees, so it's hot, and it's being dropped into a calorimeter. There's the hint that it's a calorimetry problem. Containing some water initially at 20 degrees. What is the final temperature of the lead shot? So this is one of those cases where the heat of the metal, so our Q for the metal, is going to equal the Q for the water. And remember, the metal is going to lose heat because it's going to cool off. And so its Q is going to be negative. Now, here's one way to solve these problems. You can go Q, M, C, delta T. Q, M, C, delta T. Whereas one side's the metal and one side's the water. And we know that these two Q's here have to be equal. So the mass of the lead is 0.2 kilograms. The heat capacity of the lead, they tell us, is 128 joules per kilogram. So see how that's in the hundreds? So it's a small number. And the change in temperature. Okay, so they tell us initially it was at 90, but they want to know what is the final. So we're looking for the final. Remember our change in temperature is our final minus our initial. So this is going to be our final minus the in initial, which is 90. Okay, for the water, we have 0.5 kilograms. And its heat capacity is 4186. Now, that's one you should know. Okay, remember that's one we should know. That should go on your equation sheet. And the change in temperature of the water. Well, the water started at 20 degrees, but we don't know its final temperature either. But we do know that since they are in thermal equilibrium when they're done, that the two final temperatures are the same. So T final minus T initial. So when we go to set up the equation, we have the negative MC delta T, because we have a change in temperature, so we're going to use that equation, is equal to the MC delta T for the water. So we plug everything in on the metal side, plug everything in the water side, and it'll look like negative 0.2 times 128 times T final minus 90 is equal to 0.5 times 41.86 times T final minus 20. That's kind of ugly, but it's solvable. We can do this. We're big kids. A little bit of work and okay now here's a little hint if the water started at 20 degrees this answer here 4.8 degrees that's going to be wrong totally wrong because that's colder than the 20 degrees the water is going to get warmer the water is going to get warmer so 4.8 is not a reasonable number 20.8 maybe 22.4 maybe, so we'll have to solve this to figure it out. Okay, so doing a little simplifying, 0 0.2 times 128 is negative 25.6. 0.5 times 4186 is 2093. Go ahead and distribute negative, negative 25.6 TF. Now that's going to change it to a plus, so 90 times 25.6, 2304 is equal to 2093 TF minus 20 times 2093, ooh, big number, 41860. So gather our like terms on the same side. We have 44,164 is equal to 2118.6 TF. 
and solving for TF we get twenty point eight degrees Celsius. Does that match up with one of our answer choices? Yay! Always good thing. All right, so that's how you would do one of those problems. And we had to think about where's the heat going, who's getting it, which equation can we use, and there's more types of problems like this.